psychologically to bring yourself up a level and up, up a notch to be able to see a helicopter view about what's really going on. And that's actually where I actually, I can actually feel it now that I actually feel that uh, that's the biggest problem because um, being a rabbit in the headlights is really where I think majority of people are now in uh, what's going on with the current economic uh, and uh, COVID-19 sort of climate. And I'm just wondering if somehow we could deal with that, then all the business stuff is actually easier to envisage because then you can actually think of a way around some of these things. But if, you, if you're not psychologically uh, adept to actually realizing that you're the problem, that you're yourself are going to be the problem because you're not going to be able to handle it, then uh, that in itself actually is going to be your downfall. And uh, luckily when I had my, because I've got the experience and I think obviously we all been through some sort of turmoil somewhere in business, but I think I'm quite open about it. And luckily when I went through it, I had a uh, hundred, hundred, uh, people calling me saying, banks calling me saying, where's the money? Why is it not paid this month? You know, uh, so I had, I took on a consultancy. I gave them my phone and then dealt with all my phone calls because I couldn't really, I would actually literally like lost the will to sort of live type situation. Obviously, I'm, I'm not that crazy to be thinking like that, but I just give, gave my phone to them because I, I couldn't really handle the stress of even one phone call, right? <laughs> about a hundred of them. <laughs> so I'm just thinking because having been through that, um, how often do you find, uh, Raman, that uh, your clients, it, the issues are more to do with their, uh, the way they're looking at their business because of their stresses around it? And it's not the business itself is usually quite easy, I think, in my opinion. But would you guys agree, yeah. Raman, that was asked you first? Yeah, absolutely. That is correct. I think uh, I was going to say 90% of the time that is the case. Usually there is a solution and it's there or you can always find a way. But it is about how you're feeling and how you're thinking about things. Because if you're thinking this is the end, I can't get out of it, then you are in a hole and it, you're not going to be able to get out of it. But if you keep thinking, actually, I'm OK, because you as a, per as, as a person, we've learned so much. We have such a vast knowledge and there's so many resources at hand. But if we're closing our eyes, well, like you said, you know, you're caught in the uh, headlines. You're not going to be able to see it because you're just blinded by what you think the problem is. You're never going to see the solution. So yeah, that that is correct. Raising vibration is is huge. It's um and it's so necessary because right then when you raise your vibration, you're not only in a different frame of mind. You also have so many options. You think, oh wait, I can do this. Like you said, the consultancy thing that you did, I would never have thought of that. Let me pass the phone over to somebody else. They can deal with this. Let me just deal with what I'm doing. That's a great way of doing it. Or MC Fem, when you know you, you lost everything overseas, you came over, you started again. That's a fantastic way of doing things. Raising your vibration is what's key because you're more important than your business or your assets or what you have, you know? <laughs> okay, well, there we have it from the spiritual accountant. <laughs> And uh, I think um, I actually um, led her <laughs> down that path, led Raman down that path anyway. Was it me who led you up there or was that something that you wanted to say anyway? It is something that um, I would say because it's part of who I am. But obviously you, you do do the leading. <laughs> Perfect. But, but I actually I actually like got a very, very strong feeling that this is what it's all about. It's actually about raising vibration. And uh, I wish... I mean, this is kind of come out a bit strange. I wish I could just uh, hug every, everybody out there who's actually going through that pain and just tell them, right, it's going to be all right, you know, because uh, that's all they really need. They don't really need much more. They just need somebody to uh, give them a feeling that there's somebody to support them, to love them through these difficult times. But because they haven't got that, because of lockdown, because of isolation, because the pressure is on. Um, luckily, when I went through this, I did have actually family and out of about 100 people I was working with, I think one person turned up 
and you won't really, I can't really tell you too much, but it was actually VJ Sal who turned up for me. Ah. He was the only person that turned up. He used to wow. come to my house at five o'clock every morning for about five years, pick me up to make sure that I wouldn't wallow in my self-pity. Oh. So uh, he, even though he's got really the corniest and the worst sense of humor out of <laughs> any human being I know, uh, he's not here now, so we can say that. Then uh, that's something I had to suffer for five years in the car. <laughs> so, so you got to thank him for his uh, his uh, raising my vibrations. Anyway, all those years ago. What, what do you reckon, MC Fam? It's quite a for me. It's uh, it sort of almost like it reminds me, taking me back to fourteen years ago when I had to go through it and uh and and even now i'm sure we're all going through this vibrational change ourselves as well um but before i'm gonna ask ask um mc fem we've got deborah sophia magdalene who's the vibration queen uh she's saying i agree lucky raising your vibration and seeing situations from a higher perspective is key developing resilience emotional intelligence being able to chain state this is why i'm so passionate about my work and she's written yes hugs and a sense of belonging so uh mc Fem, what what do you feel because i can i can actually feel what you're going to say anyway i sort of feel you really yeah. <laughs> yeah of course um i think uh we have to think about the ego and i think it's when our businesses are built or our homes or our status or whatever we have is coming from the place of ego that's when you feel you've lost everything um i found, i did find that ab abroad because my ego was built in my business in a way i was my business and what i did and my ego and building luxury villas and living the dream and my kids in private school and going out on yachts and that was quite ego based i feel which is why the loss of that was so bad for me if you see what i mean now i i'm not built from the ego anymore um i have a much more steel core and no matter what happens in my business <clears throat> i'm detached from that because i i have a business but i'm not the business so I'm not the job, I'm not the house, I'm not the schools my kids go to, I'm not where I, the fancy place I might get my hair cut, which I don't at the moment actually, I do it myself. So I think, um, and those people who, who commit suicide when their whole business goes under is because they have, they have not seen any difference between, um, and then when you're coming from the ego, you're on a very low vibration so um i think that probably needs to be talked about more um and i don't feel it is uh because when we start talking about vibrations and energies uh the world has shifted it's something that is talked about much more in the mainstream now but for most people in business in the uk it's not really something that's talked about you you know you're not going to get boris on his things going right everybody let's keep a high vibration here Let's remember we're, we're not our business, we're not this, we're not, those conversations are not happening. They're not talking really about mental health, about eating good food, about exercising. Um, so the really main things that are gonna get us through this is not even being discussed or acknowledged. Uh, but it's good, like we're having this discussion, but how many people are having this discussion really? And things do fall apart how many people are actually telling people why this is falling apart is because of your attachment to this and your attachment to this is not real because this is really not who you are in your core and you've got to find your core and find who you are and then you will never lose everything you only lose everything if you lose yourself um and i've had to learn that one but um and i teach that to my children but we're not teaching this in schools <laughs> we're not teaching this in business courses we're not even teaching this in, in management courses or or we're not teaching this in property courses. So uh, yeah, I, you know, if I could, I'd go on a bus around the UK spreading the word 
but I'm not allowed to travel. So yeah. I mean, um, what you're saying is such a priceless point, I would say, for a lot of people, but a lot of people won't necessarily engage or connect or really understand it the way that point needs to be understood, because I think it's a very profound point, which is uh, letting go of greed, ego, and uh, you sort of say um, selfishness. And uh, But commercialism itself is actually a lot of selfishness. It's quite sort of a contradictory thing that we need we need money to pay for things and have a <clears throat> decent lifestyle. So where do you, how do you, how would you say, Raman, you could draw the line between ego and uh, purity? Because they, they're two completely contradictory things. I actually sit in Mayfair every day and I sort of cringe with about 90% of the things that I see. A lot of things do actually disgust me. Yeah, very honest. Because uh, uh, I'm very, um, I'd say I'm quite a, a spiritual person. <clears throat> uh, but in business, uh, when you're dealing in uh, the core of London, uh, you see a lot of nasty things. And I wouldn't really want to be associated with those sort of people or that type of culture either. Uh, I actually see myself as a UK-wide or international entrepreneur uh, and not really uh, uh, caught in the vices of uh, Mayfair, which, which is a, a tiny bit dark sometimes. So how would you distinguish that? I mean, it's, it's quite an interesting topic. Hmm. Uh, and again, it's, um, it's different for everybody because everybody is made up of different things, even though we are made up of ego and our soul, which is the purity side. We're made up of so much more. Everybody has, you know, somebody's purer than someone else or somebody's ego is higher than somebody else. So it completely depends on how attached you are to yourself or your things or what you've made. And, you know, what MC Firm said before, it's the attachment that is usually the biggest issue. Um, and obviously our pride, which comes into it. Um, so it completely depends. And the other thing is, if you if you do things that require your focus, so not only business or your work, but some form of spiritual meditation or some kind of focus, then you're able to stay with yourself more in the present more rather than thinking towards the past and being depressed about how you don't have what you have or thinking about the future and being anxious as to what it's going to bring. Instead, don't lose today and the opportunities you have today so that is where you lose the ego if that makes sense there we are another very important point from a spiritual accountant <laughs> if, you, if you can let go you i suppose the ego and then it, everything becomes a lot easier i'd say yeah you, uh, i would agree uh i actually i think uh i'm trying to work out whether I, how much of an ego i had um when uh, VJ Sal came to help me, he said, "Your." He actually said to me that your. Uh, um, well, I, I'm not even going to say it. Actually, it's a bit embarrassing. But he, he actually, I'll just say it in a slightly different way. He said that you're a very. Uh, you're not even like materialistic. He said to me, he goes, "You don't even like care about money, uh, because you just drive an ordinary car. You've got like an ordinary house." you're very you're not sort of like uh, lavish in what you do so, um so so the question is really um i, I think i just lost out I, I was i think it wasn't ego so much i was just uh, it was just naivety because i just thought the market's really going to go up and up and up and i think uh, i just uh, i was enjoying the deal making you know like oh i got a deal got a deal so i think it wasn't ego i think it's more of a uh, an addiction to deal making because I just I just sort of love making deals. It's good fun. Um, so I think it. Um, so you, I think being aware of one's behaviours is very important because uh, I mean I'm a non-drinker, non-smoker. Don't do anything that's you know even given up coffee now and tea. Um, so don't so don't do drugs. Yeah, coffees and teas. So. I'm just thinking, 
but nobody's perfect. You've still got certain vices or certain traits and you've got to learn to be able to counter them. So I actually think uh, I enjoy the thrill of actually maybe negotiating or winning a contract or uh, maybe, you know, there, there's probably still not perfection in terms of how I like to be. So how, where do you draw the line then, the MCFM, in terms of being uh, a um, business person and letting yourself, you know, drawing a line between getting too attached to things. You know, it's quite a difficult balance, isn't it? I mean, if you if you didn't do your running this morning, your meditation, I'm sure the day would be different for you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think uh, it's the daily rituals for me, really. Um, also, I have a tendency to be a workaholic, but no, just for no particular reason I try, try not to be but I am um, so yeah you're right you're always going to have vices or you're always going to have um, things I suppose um, gratitude is probably where I live my days I think gratitude is enormous really um, I wish I'd learned about gratitude a long time ago I, I would say I've lived my life in in a lot of gratitude probably for the last four years so that's made a huge impact um but yeah i i don't have um i think it's just pure living um going back to basic um the body the mind the spirit um and when you do go off track as you will um because you've built those rituals and you, that is the biggest part of you it's much easier to come back again because obviously we're all going to have difficult times in life. Um, things are going to come at us that we're not expecting. Um, and But it's much more easier to deal with that when you have that clear headspace, which you get from meditation or I have quite a strong faith. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it's things that, are, that you can't see, those things that aren't physical things i suppose um is what makes the biggest difference in in my life for sure yeah, i think uh, <clears throat> this morning is more like a sunday morning uh, sermon yeah to, it's to the sunday. Non believers <laughs> out there so you've got the spiritual accountant and you've got the uh, spiritual uh, mcfm <laughs> uh, but i i actually think that this is probably one of the best um, <clears throat> interviews because VJ Sal isn't here, but it's me doing it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think my, my interviews are a bit more profound, but VJ Sal probably I have a big argument with me about that later. <laughs> but we have, I think we have touched on a very important topic, uh, which is that uh, whatever issues you've got in your life, whatever's going on, whether it's health or money or business or COVID-19 or whatever's happened. Basically, you can't control those things around you, but you can control yourself. You can actually look after yourself. You can love yourself. And I think if you set yourself a very positive intention, which is to say that everything's going to be fine for me and work on the positive, you find that everything will start happening around you. I mean, this morning I just came out with that intention, and uh, two wonderful ladies were popped up on the, on the screen. I mean, amazing. I mean, this has made my uh, whole day. <laughs> Tanya, can you feel the vibration? Yeah. Yeah, it's been fantastic. Actually, I. I find this conversation has calmed me down <laughs> from when I first came on. So, yeah, there's a fantastic energy and um, we're all aligned, which is so nice. You don't get that that often, if you know what I mean. Or you don't feel comfortable enough to maybe share that in, in certain situations or, you know. So, yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, so I think, I think the audience... Uh, us, we're all blessed, really, to to really be having this conversation, really, because I think it's really for the audience, the community, to realize the conversation we're having, really, how powerful it is. Um, so I am, like, really, really feel truly blessed for this conversation. This could be life-changing. I'm not even joking. It could be life-changing 
for millions of people out there who are listening to this and really took it to heart. Uh, I certainly feel it's life changing for me, and I'm definitely going to take it to heart, uh, no matter what anybody thinks or says to me about it. So, um, I know we were overrun today, but uh, I think we've touched upon vibration and actually raising your vibration. So, what I'd like to do is just have a quick uh, minute from each of you just to sort of say, because we now understand where we are. We, we understand detachment, we understand what we need to do. Raman, what is it, daily practice that you think people could be doing to try and take themselves into a position of detachment so they can run a better life or run run their business more effectively? What What is it that, just give us two or three tips that you think could work and help them because now we've touched upon it and I'll give my summary of uh, the business opportunity afterwards. So I think the first thing when you do wake up in the morning, don't reach for your phone to see your social media or the news or what's happening that's bad. Put yourself in a good frame of mind, whether that's meditation, whether that's listening to common music or going for a run or anything that puts you into that really great vibe the first thing in the morning. And then see that vibe in your mind mentally for everything that you do in your day and allow that to touch everything that you do and just it will make a huge difference. There we have it from our spiritual accountant. What's your firm called, uh, Raman? So we need to make it international now. <laughs> it's DNS Accountant Banking. <laughs> there we go. Uh, with uh, Raman, she will change your DNA to DNS. <laughs> <laughs> the, the DNS stands for superb. Well, the DN, your DNA will be superb after you. Uh, dealt with rum and how's that for your marketing slogan that's that's amazing i think i might give you the contract for that <laughs> <laughs> okay you heard it here first yeah. so mc fem same question to you uh, i really i really love your energy mc fem you've actually uh, uh really uh touched my soul by the way oh thank you and thank you raman um i loved your words actually um, I can't add to those. Um, I, I suppose I would just say to anybody, everybody, the world, to be honest, um, you know, we are going to go through some tough time in the next few years. I just feel that. I think you guys feel that. And that's probably to do with our empathy and our energy and what we're feeling and how connected we are to, to the universe. Um, and I feel if people learn the art of gratitude, that it will get you out of depression, it will get you out of tough times, it will get you through the days, it will get you through the next hour. And so I would always say, um, if you start the day and you're just not feeling it, just find those things to be grateful for. And um, even if it's tiny things and, and every single day, 10, 20 times a day, depending how you're feeling, keep using that and it will change your life, absolutely. And anyone can do it. It's that simple. Okay, perfect. We've got uh, a couple of minutes, but I just, well, we haven't got minutes at all, but I'm just going to add on a couple of minutes. <laughs> Everybody's okay with that. It's going to be um, a whole warning. We're like TVAM now from 6 to 10. That's right. I think uh, work out GMTV. Piers Morgan's gone now. I think we're taking over. <laughs> he needs you, Lucky. He needs us. Um, okay. So, two amazing summaries of really some tips for everybody out there about uh, what you could be doing to actually be in your flow and uh, if you feel that you're not in your flow at all even if you're one percent out then do dm us in the community and feel welcome to dm me directly because i've got a lot of love to share a lot of people don't believe it but i am 24 hours so if you wanted to call me at three o'clock in the morning uh, I don't really mind, to be honest. Isn't really, I'm happy to sort of help or assist, um, uh, long as it's not long as it's not every single night at three o'clock. It might be a bit disturbing, but um, okay. So That's a different kind of call. <laughs> cool, yeah. um, so, Mary, what are you saying? <laughs> I said that, that's a different kind of call altogether. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, good point. I like that. Right, so 
Right. So where was I? So basically, to summarize, if you're looking to work from home and you're looking for a new income opportunity, uh, the property fixer here, Lucky Singh, uh, we're offering that out to you. Uh, but what I want you to guys to remember is that the opportunity is just an opportunity. It's really about you raising your vibration. If you raise your vibration, you're going to be able to help lots of people. And if you can help people, you'll find that whatever opportunity that we've got for you will have meaning to it and it will actually give you a better vibration about yourself and actually while well, you're helping people and you'll make money. Uh, so that's my sort of message for today. Uh, so lots of love to uh, everybody out there from Lucky Singh, the property fixer, and uh, uh, my two angels here, uh, Roman and uh, MC Femme. Uh, I'm blessed actually. So I think I don't think I've actually felt this good in uh, years and years. So I, I actually am truly blessed. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Thank you. You, have a, you have a wonderful day. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well. Thank you, Roman. Lovely to meet you.